Hello everyone, today in this video we will fight against the atmosphere of our world around us as we always tend to do in this channel. Today I have to share with you a very interesting observation I have made. Sometimes it's really worth watching old covers of the magazines. And here I mean not only the magazines one likes, because they reflect our views or maybe they have very interesting contents that are worth reading. But it's, it is also worth watching the covers of the magazines we don't like. For instance, Magazine Time in 1977, one of the issue had such cover representing penguin standing most likely on the tip of the iceberg. And above this penguin, there was such question, how to prepare uh, ourselves for coming ice age. And in 2008, our era, AD, Anno Domini, just to be clear, there was another cover of the same Time magazine showing the soldiers setting the tree to plant it. It, it resembles me the picture of famous picture of Israeli soldiers setting the Israeli flag in Eilat in 1948 after capturing it, or American soldiers setting the flag on Okinawa after uh, capturing it in uh, late summer 1945. Yes, so uh, we, we see, and above this uh, picture of the soldiers who were setting the tree to plant it, there was a question written and it, and it was going like this, how to, win, how to win the war on global warming. Hey, hey, hey. So, 19, <clears throat> so 1977 we had to prepare ourselves for coming ice age and in 2008 we were asked, uh, asked we were obtaining orders by uh, intimidating us to prepare ourselves for global warming. And now we see what's happening uh, in these days. After 14 years, 12, 14 years, 2020, 2022, uh, global warming somehow didn't happen. We are not sweating like dogs every day of the year, like, uh, like uh, Ice Age didn't come. We didn't freeze and we don't have to live together with penguins. Anyway, I do not recommend anybody to live close to penguins because maybe they look nice as animals, but due to their diet, they really stink with fish oil. So it's not a nice company. But okay, so we see that Ice Age didn't come. After 30 years, <laughs> global warming didn't come. So now uh, the people who want to uh, earn many activists and uh, companies and governments who want to earn on capital, actually capitalize, I should use broader, broader word, capitalize politically and financially because also governments of many countries are involved in it, who want to capitalize on the climate and the issue around the climate. Now they uh, are telling people that we have to uh, fight against the climate change. Which direction this change is supposed to go? No one knows, but we need to fight against climate change. It resembles me old techniques from communistic propaganda, like the statement very popular in former Eastern Bloc among propagandists, fight for peace. You don't have to fight, then there is a peace. If you fight, there is a war, there is no peace. Typical oxymoron. Like now, climate change. And we have to just see that these two covers place one close to another are perfect example how to educate people who are completely manipulated by this propaganda 1977 we should be prepared for the ice age 2008 we should be fight against global warming so what's wrong war didn't change so much and it's now and it's not changing global warming didn't come Ice Age didn't come, and climate change will not come. Sorry, there is always some fluctuation, there are always some changes, but honestly, scientifically, we are not able to en envision their direction 
and we don't know how much we as people really influence our climate because one volcanic erup eruption if it's huge can uh, just throw to the atmosphere much more recently famous carbon dioxide than uh, entire industrial production uh, of humanity uh, working for one year and it reminds me also the same propaganda we, ha we, had, uh, we had to experience, unfortunately, thanks to our corrupted uh, guys above and corporations for the last two years with this famous Chinese microbe that initially we were told it's very dangerous. Later we were told, told no, 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 now it has holidays, during holidays because different uh, business, br branches of business want to uh, earn like tourist sector, now we don't have to. Oh, there is an autumn. People, people just coughing and sniffing. Virus is coming back. He is bad. Microp is bad. So we need to go back to restrictions. Yeah, each time it goes weaker and weaker. But uh, also governments decided and uh, CAOs from companies. No one check it. We should take these remedies. No one check if they are good or bad because they were done so quickly. We should take them. And many people were forced. Now no one wants to listen about this, that very often they had detrimental effects. But okay, we had to, kill, we had to uh, uh, harm thousands to save billions, and this was higher necessity. And we know that government wants our good. So if government uh, or companies want our good, we have to hide it well, you know. We have to hide our good well, and we have to defend it. Good example is given by Dutch farmers who are fighting for the for their lands and for their source of income with the really embarrassingly stupid and uh, dumb politics of the government. Uh, many people around the world join them. We should join. We should protest also physically. We should protest in social media. We should our voice should be heard everywhere and we should be seen everywhere just to fight for our normal conditions of living and not to succumb to the stupid propaganda. And these two covers of the Times magazine shows really evidently how we are manipulated and we are manipulated for uh, the... And there is one purpose behind it, to squeeze from us our money, to control us and to also force us to take uh, some uh, specifics, some so-called remedies, to also affect us in the in the way ruling uh, group from uh, companies and governments want us to be affected to make us easier to control that's it and we should fight against it then this climate story is a perfect example of this manipulation how to uh, keep people in fear and say and tell them that only government and big companies are the saviors and have solutions for our problems and we should be of course absolutely obedient and forget about our rights and our uh, possessions about everything we should completely succumb to them this is all behind it and that's why we shouldn't succumb to this we should go always a little bit to history we should try to make more and more people aware of this common manipulation and we should fight for our rights by any means. But the best fight is just to be aware and make more and more people aware about this what's really happening. Th this is how I see the things. And uh, I wish all the best to all of you. Take care. And I'm sure that uh, this information should spread and more and more people will open their eyes. And we should remember that also the number of tricks people from companies and governments can use to manipulate us is also limited, very limited. And history teaches us that maybe not, it doesn't uh, go quickly, but people have some ability to learn from the experience. And this is our hope. Take care. Bye.